are you doing? Are you going to help with the garden today, Bugfish? We have a lot of work to do. Can you get your gloves on? Get your boots on? Okay. Didn't we already have a cup of coffee? Yes. And I'm making another batch? Damn straight. That's right. We're two cup a day coffee people. Guys, we're so excited. Today is gardening palooza. We've taken a little bit of time off since we completed the roof zip installation, kind of to just rest and wrap our heads around the next phase of the build, um, live a little bit of life, stuff like that. One of the things we've really wanted to do this year is start a garden. Not a big garden, just plant something. And we realized we have the foundation of a good garden. It's really a day or two project to get the garden cleaned up, fill the beds with some soil, put some mulch down, put up the fencing, and plant some seeds. Simple is that. So I've spent some time weeding the garden. I spent some time moving this bark around. This is mostly remains from milling the timber frame that you can't see anymore. This is sort of the hugel culture approach and the idea is that this decomposes over time adding nutrients to your soil and it also retains moisture. You know, all that good stuff that we all want for our gardens. But we don't have a lot of topsoil. And then there's mulch. So with that, we're gonna kinda kill two birds with one stone. These right here are all the remains we have for milling our timber frame. This is stuff that we're really not gonna get lumber out of either. So we figured, why not rent a wood chipper and turn it to wood chips? It's not that simple because I won't bore you with the details in this video, but in a nutshell, we're not ready to put our roofing on the sips. We're gonna build what's called a cold roof or sort of a secondary roof. We're gonna put one by two furring strips every two feet or so on top of our sips, and then we're gonna put plywood, and that's gonna be our roof, so to speak. So we figured instead of buying our one by twos, we have all this material right here. There's a lot of one by twos in there. So our thinking is that we're gonna kind of work together, we're gonna bring the table saw out here, and we're gonna get all the one by two out of here that we can, and the rest we're going to turn to wood chips. I've also decided that I'm so tired of overthinking gardening. There's all these rules of what to do, what not to do, and in the end it's really pretty simple. Put seeds or your, se or your starters in the ground, add some water, add some mulch, and you'll probably grow something. Sure, there's always room for improvement, but I think with beginner gardeners like ourselves, getting started is often the hard part because we're so worried about screwing it up that we don't take action. These have been sitting here for about six months or so. Some of it's a little newer than that. Some people are huge advocates of not putting fresh wood chips in your garden because it's gonna rob the nitrogen, blah, 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 blah. That might be right, but it's what we have. We need to get rid of this waste on our property. We really don't wanna burn it, so we're going for it. Even if our garden doesn't thrive this year, that's okay. Our only goal is to plant something and get started. I guarantee you, something edible is gonna come out of those raised beds. I've unhitched our wood chipper, which we have as a 24 hour rental, but we need to get this baby unhitched because yesterday we also picked up a bunch of topsoil. It's actually a topsoil compost mixture. And what we did, because we had to pick up the wood chipper before 5 p.m. and it was like 4.30. We had them load up our soil and then we left our trailer at the nursery to go pick up the wood chipper. So we have to go pick that up this morning, get the soil on site, and we're gonna probably try to get the soil in the garden immediately because if we need more soil, we wanna be able to go get that today before they close. You know, people have wonky hours on Sundays and stuff. Almost ready, Freddy? This bed is the only one we pretty much have ready. We did have enough topsoil for this bed and it's the stuff that we purchased two years ago. Our first garden was kind of set up right here, no fence or anything, and basically what I did was I just took all that soil and I put it here. We're pretty happy with this bed, but as you can see, we have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six more beds to fill up. I think the idealist in me, I was really excited to purchase 
as little as possible for the garden. I really wanted to take kind of this homegrown approach where we don't buy soil and we don't buy amendments. We make our own soil, even if it takes years to get something that's really, really fertile. If you remember, we had our rock grizzly where we were filtering a lot of the soil and getting the rock out so that we had some backfill that wasn't full of rocks. In the end, we do have a couple piles of filtered soil. This is about as filtered as we can get it. There's still pretty large rocks here, so I would say this isn't the most ideal for gardening. Like, look at this guy. This is about the size of my fist. So while we could use this, and I'm very confident that you could make almost any soil fertile after enough time and love and compost and amending and I feel like that's a small thing we can do to jumpstart our garden to just get it done and start planting stuff. Last year my goal wasn't to garden mostly because we're trying to build this thing right here and it took all of our time. So what I did was I was working on compost over the year and this year we have beautiful rich compost which I added to that first bed and we're going to be able to add to these other beds as well. So that's really exciting. It's nice to work on something for a full year and then reap the benefits. I can't tell you how excited we are to finally plant something. I think it is our goal long term to grow most of the food we need for our family. That doesn't mean we'll never buy food again, but our goal is to grow enough to feed us fresh vegetables throughout the summer and then to grow enough to be able to can for winter. But this year, our goal isn't mass productivity. I think that's just gonna come with time. So, and we're just gonna plant a little bit of everything. And we're just gonna see how things go this year. And it looks like Jesse's ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead, get this soil, and get this show on the road. It's gonna be a really exciting day, guys. Let's work up an appetite. Do you want your jacket? I am a little chilly. Never seen a baby that tiny. That thing has to be like a day old. Yeah. Oh. You can't zoom in that far. He's barely walking. Sorry guys, you can't really see, it's too small. What is to mama? Mama's like, come on baby, what are you doing? It's so tiny. It's so tiny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's scared. It's scared. It's okay. Go follow mama. Oh, it's barely a day. Just gotta follow mama. Oh, that little thing was oh, scared out goodness. of its mind. It was going ee, ee. Oh, I really want to go back and see it, but that probably wouldn't be the respectful no, thing to do. No, they're a wild animal. We'll leave them alone. Oh. Yeah, that like maybe a day. I mean, it was it still... It was so... That's the tiniest deer I've ever seen. Yeah. That's pocket-sized. Oh, uh, that's pretty cute. There's our soil. reclaimed materials. Three years ago, almost, Jesse and I needed materials to build our little cabin that you see. So we demolished a barn in the house. All that was left after the cabin basically was stuff with a lot of rot. So to build these beds, I was kind of piecing it together, salvaging what I could. So because of that, some of our beds aren't very strong or they're open at the bottom or they're breaking a little bit because the wood is that sensitive. So before I put soil in this guy, I have to try to reinforce it a little bit so it isn't bowing out.
Alyssa's over there playing carpenter. And it sounds like there's like six people over there playing carpenter, but it's just Alyssa. Did you guys know that Alyssa built this entire garden? That's right. This is Alyssa's masterpiece. And she got to reinforce her squaring and leveling skills and her sailing skills. And by sailing, I mean cursing. guys that's it we're out of soil but we have I would say more than two-thirds of our beds filled up so that's pretty exciting I know this is gonna settle over time because of all the bark we have under there but that's okay so we might need to bring more soil in next year but all we have left are those two beds so I think we're gonna shift focus to wood chipping how'd moving all that soil feel felt like I am glad I don't have a gym membership <laughs> I think when we were looking for property we were factoring food production into our decision and anybody who's been following us for any length of time knows that we bought a rock garden but our thinking was it's easy and affordable to bring in soil so buying fertile land so that you can produce food is a little bit silly because we've purchased two and a half yards of soil at a total cost of eighty dollars or we could go out and buy a piece of land that's flat and easy to farm and we'd have no view we wouldn't love it mm -hmm. our house wouldn't fit on it the point is buy the land that makes sense for you and for us bringing in a couple hundred dollars worth of topsoil to grow our food and learn to build soil not a big deal having the home and the view that we have priceless is bandit a verb or a noun i don't know but have you ever heard the expression pissing into the wind I wonder if you're supposed to chip into the wind. I don't know, it probably not. It seemed like a bad idea. <laughs> so I don't know how we're going to get the chippers set up so that we don't get all the chips coming right back at us. Let's we'll figure that out. We're thinking of kind of going through this pile as we chip it and anything that looks like we can make furring out of, uh, which is three quarter inch thick minimum, we're going to pull it aside, but we're not going to worry about our furring right now. And a lot of this wood has like big knots and stuff in it in the middle. So as soon as we cut it into furring, it's just going to snap in half. So the furring has to be pretty clear wood. It really does. It can't just be like junk, but I feel like, yeah, we've got this monster pile. We need to get rid of the monster pile. Mm -hmm. We need wood chips in the garden. Furring strips we can buy if we have to. But this we got, we, yeah. I mean, we could buy wood chips too, but we have to get rid of this. Might as well chip it. And we have, I think you shared it, but we've got some chipping material over here. We've got some chipping material over there. We really actually are kind of in cleanup mode a little yep. bit. So it's a bit of a combination of property cleanup and getting the garden ready. Have you ever run a chipper? No. Me neither. <laughs> I like the very first rule is do not direct this at people. Why? Because it's been done before. <laughs> People are people. People do peoplely things. For anyone who's really, really good, this motor sounds a lot like another motor on our property. See if Guess you can, which one. See if you can figure out which one it is.
you guys. How'd it go? Pretty good. Are we done with that pile? Oh, heck no. Oh, really? Maybe half. Oh, no, so that's bad. probably three yards or two to three yards there. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. So. I made you some delicious wow. snacks. Oh my God, you're so awesome. You might want to eat them though. Yeah, they're getting wet. Because my last experience, wet cheese sucks. Oh yeah, and hot cheese. And hot cheese. This is a really like dirty day. Amen. This thing shoots dust for a country mile. I can see like there's like a perfect dust mm -hmm. bath like bark dust yeah. thing over there. This is cool. Makes me feel good to see all that wood becoming something useful. It does, yeah. So it hailed a minute ago. Really? Like hailed the snot out of us. Oh yeah. Did you forget about it already? Oh, you said a minute ago. That was oh, like well, 20 minutes ago, wherever we go. Wow. And now it's raining. All right, I'll let you take a break in peace and I will bring you more, more chipper food. Who's hiding in the RV because he doesn't want to get rained on. Bugaboo. Cat hates being wet. But what he hates more than being wet is being dried off. All right, break time's over. Chocolate, I think you and I have an appointment maybe in a couple of hours. So it's middle of June right now and we just had this cold front come through and I can see my breath in the cabin. Can you guys see that? It's crazy. Jesse said our local mountain up here has snow on it. That's insane, but don't worry. Our forecast shows a high of 90 degrees in about a week. I'm very confident we're gonna have a long, hot summer. Got our London fogs ready for another round. Like if you see a black ring like that mm -hmm. around a knot, it's gonna pop out. It's no good. Yeah, okay. the wood around it's actually very unstable okay. too. So. some spreading for me. This is hashtag oddly satisfying. Yes. Let's see, so this was logs, then a timber frame, then loft decking, then lumber for our sips and for Justin. Some of it went in the hot tub and the rest of it's becoming furring strips. Yeah. And now- It doesn't get better than that, so. Oh, garden. firewood. Well, just a little, well, we got, yeah, for like, Five years, but how did we waste anything? Where's the waste? There isn't waste. We haven't taken any to the dump yet. No, we're about as, almost as good as the wood industry. Almost, <laughs> they're pretty good at maximizing. We don't have any bark mulch. Now we need to like scrape that dust off and turn it into fire logs. <laughs> Not, it. <laughs> Not it. Wow, this is fun. Okay, I'll let you do it. 
Can we handle any more? I have too much mulch, so no one ever. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's good looking shavings. Yeah, that's right. That's from all the timbers that we made into the timber brackets, huh? Call it black gold for nothing. So this compost is primarily a few things. Leaves, horse poop, coffee from our local coffee shop. I don't see any leaves in here or identifiable poo. So I see I'd lots say, of bugs. I'd say it composted pretty well. What do you think? I think it looks great and I think that we will plant something and I think something will grow. I think so and too. And then it will get better from here. I found a worm. A Look, worm. I didn't put it there. See, worms like the compost. Here's another worm. Oh, yeah. So I guess if you if you if you really wanted to be super particular about the value of the logs that we got for the timber frame, you'd have to add up the value of the sawdust, the wood chips, the planer shavings, the lumber. Like these trees just keep producing value in yeah. our family. So we have to get this done. We've got to put the fence up. I think we're going to bring in a little more soil to finish oh, out right. the beds. Yes. You have to return the chipper. So we're we're probably halfway through this project. Yeah, that's so pretty good though. Maybe within a day or two we can get some starts planted. Hopefully whoever's watching this enjoys this video as much as we enjoy doing this project. Okay. This is the type of stuff we're like really excited about. Yep. But the house is just all consuming. When we're working on the house, we really don't have time for anything else. Um, but we're trying to build this house so we have a place to live so we can garden and do all that fun stuff. We don't actually have time for a garden right now, but we're well, starting Well, we don't one. now, yeah, but we're trying this thing called balance in our life. Yep. And I, I do feel that this will be fairly hands-off once it's established and we have yep. our soaker hose and we have a water system. So that's our theory. And I think it's a bit healing to come out and see fruit on your plants or foliage or I it guess is. produce. And I think this is a small win for us. The house yep. is just, it's a marathon. It's a monster. And this is more of a sprint. Yep. Right? And you need both. Yep. Good work today. You too. Are you going to make dinner soon? Oh yeah, I'll make dinner. Okay. First impressions. What do you think? 